now new at 10. In 2022, the city of Memphis saw 302 homicides. The Memphis Police Department says it has solved more than half of those cases. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live to break down the homicide clearance rate and gives us a look at the never ending fight for justice. Bria, what'd you find out? Well, that's right, Greg. MPD says it was able to solve 67% of the homicides from last year, but that still leaves many families seeking justice. I miss him. I miss him. This numbing pain Dominique Galladay feels is a heartache hundreds of Memphis families experience yearly. It was my everything. I loved him a lot. The father of her son, an unborn baby, 25-year-old Alandis Turner, gone down while at the scene of another murder days before Christmas. So far, no arrests have been made. His son asks about him every morning. I just can't tell him at this time and point because every time he asks about him, I break down. It's it's hard. A pain major Webb Kirkdoffer with the Memphis Police Department's Homicide Bureau knows all too well. well it's tough. It's tough working with the families uh, of, of the victims. Uh, even if the case is solved, their loved one is still deceased and they're not coming back. In 2022, there were 302 homicides, a decrease compared to a record-breaking 346 homicides in 2021. Kirk Dolfer says 67% of last year's homicides were solved. That's still 33% of our cases didn't get solved, so that's a good a portion of families, you know, that still haven't received justice. What do you say to those 33% of families that are growing frustrated, whether it be just with not having justice or even getting frustrated with the detectives working their case. Don't give up hope. We're not going to stop investigating this uh, cases. Uh, we're always looking for the last piece of the puzzle. In Turner's case, Galladay is holding out hope. The final clue for justice is around the corner. I want them to find his killer. I want them to find this, this person that did it to him. And as always, the major says if you see something, say something, you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 528 Cash. For now, reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. Yes, saying something could help heal that heartache. Bria, thanks.